connecting the source or generator and this is the load so this is the source and this is the load and the length of the section that one section that we are considering is delta z so the transmission line one section is represented with the resistance r delta z in series with the inductance of value l delta z and similarly the parallel section is represented by g delta z and the capacitance is represented by c delta z so starting point is z so as we are considering delta z length so ending length will be z plus delta z and the voltage at the source is v comma z comma t and the corresponding current is i comma z comma t it is a function of distance as well as time as we have seen similarly at z plus delta z length the corresponding voltage is v of z plus delta z comma t and the corresponding current that is flowing is i of z plus delta z comma t so if you apply kvl in this loop if you apply kvl in this loop so this is one voltage v of z comma t so as current is flowing as these two elements are series the current will be i of z comma t will be this will be plus and this will be minus and this will be plus and this will be minus and as these two elements are in parallel so voltage across parallel elements is same so voltage across this conductance and capacitor will be same as v of z plus delta z comma t so if you write kvl in that loop we will get this equation v of z comma t is equal to so r into delta z into i of z comma t plus l delta z into i of z plus t and voltage across these two elements is nothing but v of z plus delta z comma t so this we have seen and then if you separate the terms so this is the equation and if you separate the voltage terms one side and the current terms other side and from these two terms r into delta z into i of z comma t and l delta z into do i by do t so if you take delta z common in both the terms and if you send to the other side by taking delta z common in these two terms and if you send to the other side we will get this equation minus of v of z plus delta z comma t minus v of z comma t by delta z is equal to so as we have taken delta z common it will be r into i of z comma t plus l do i by do t of i of z comma t so if you take delta z tends to zero if you take delta z tends to zero for this term so this is nothing but the differentiation if you take this term delta z tends to zero this will be corresponds to differentiation of the voltage term so this equation will change to differentiation of voltage with respect to z here the variable is z so the difference we are taking z plus delta z comma t at the same time instant but the difference we are taking at a delta z length and we are differentiating with the same delta z so this corresponds to the voltage differentiation with respect to z equal to r into i of z comma t these terms are as it is so this will be the equation number 1 and then if similarly if you apply kcl kcl at this node kcl at this node if you apply the current entering is i of z comma t and the current will be leaving across this branch and also this branch and also leaving 
across this branch. So according to the KCL, sum of the entering currents will be equal to the sum of the leaving currents. So entering current is I of Z comma T. So that we have written on one side. And the current, so as this is a conductance, current across the conductance is nothing but its value multiplied by voltage. Its value, conductance value multiplied by voltage. So V of Z plus delta Z comma T into Z of delta Z. So current through the capacitor is given by I. I is nothing but C dVC by TD. So capacitor value is C into delta Z and voltage is V of Z plus delta Z comma T. So rho V by rho T and current that is leaving this branch is I of Z plus delta Z comma T. So this sum of the entering current will be equal to the current passing through this branch and current passing through this branch and the current leaving in this direction. So similarly, if we take current terms one side and voltage terms one side, and if you take delta Z common, common in these two terms, here one delta Z we have, and here one delta Z we have, and if you take this term to the this side, and if you take minus side, and if you divide this delta Z, you will get this equation. So here we will have Z into V into Z plus delta Z comma T plus C into rho V by rho T of Z plus delta Z comma T. So in this equation also, if you take delta Z tends to 0, delta Z tends to 0. So this will give you this term is nothing but the differentiation of the current with respect to the differentiation of current with respect to the delta Z tends to zero. So here also delta Z tends to zero, you have to take. Delta Z tends to zero, you have to take in these terms also. If delta Z tends to zero, then the this equation will become this equation. So as we are making delta Z tends to zero on both left hand side as well as right hand side. So this will be the differentiation of I with respect to Z with respect to Z. You have to be careful while writing this equation. I also written at the first instant by mistake with respect to T, but this is with respect to Z. So you have to be careful while writing this equation. So we may tend to write with respect to T because in general we will differentiate with respect to time most of the times. So that's why this the denominator we are having delta Z. So this gives with respect to Z. And as delta Z tends to zero, this term will become G into V of Z comma T plus T. This equation also as delta Z tends to zero plus C into rho V by rho T of Z comma T. So this will be equation two. So that will be equation two. So uh, if we assume the voltage as we are mentioning with respect to Z with respect to T as both voltage and current will depend on the distance as well as time. So here we are separating this into two terms. So this term is a function of Z and this is with respect to time. Similarly current also we are separating into two terms into phasor form. This is with respect to Z and this is with respect to time. So voltage and current are a function of Z as well as time. So this equation we have already. So from two, so rho I by rho Z, rho I by rho Z is nothing but G into this part we didn't see in class. So I am explaining here. So if you substitute here, we have from two, we have this equation rho i by rho z is nothing but g into v of z comma t plus c into rho v by rho t of z comma t. So now substitute i of z comma t here and v of z comma t in these two terms. So here i we are differentiating with respect to z 
and here voltage we are differentiating with respect to time so here as we are differentiating with respect to z so this term we can take out of the differentiation so e power z omega t will come outside and we'll have only do is by do z and whereas this equation we are differentiating with respect to voltage we are differentiating with respect to time so this term will come outside of the differentiation and if you differentiate e power j omega t so we will get differentiation of e power j omega t is nothing but j omega into again we will get the e power j omega t so if we differentiate with respect to time voltage we will get this term vs of z is will be as it is vs of z will be as it is and e power j omega t if we differentiate you will get z omega into e power j omega t so whereas here this will be simply e power j omega t will come outside if we differentiate e power j omega t will come outside and this will be simply do by do z of do by do z of is of is of z so if we substitute these we will get this one e power z omega t do is by do z and here is this we are simply substituting vs of z it has to be written vs of z e power z omega t plus c into vs into e power j omega t into j omega t so this is the equation we will get if you substitute and differentiate with respect to z and this if you differentiate with respect to t so this is the equation we will get so in this equation e power z omega t is common both right hand side and left hand side so e power j omega t term we can cancel on both the sides so if we cancel we will get this equation minus do is by do z is equal to g vs evs plus j omega c into vs so in these two terms vs is common so if you take vs as common we will get minus do is by do z is equal to g plus j omega c into vs g plus j omega c into vs so similarly in the class we have seen if we substitute and differentiate with respect to voltage so this equation we will get minus do vs by do z is equal to r plus j omega l into is so these are the two equations these equations are called coupled equations the above differential equations are coupled because the current is related to voltage and in this equation the voltage and current are coupled so on the left hand side you have current for this equation on the right hand side you have voltage whereas for this equation on the left hand side you have voltage on the right hand side we have current so that's why these equations are called coupled equations so if you like the video please share like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get latest video updates